a big difference in um, duality versus victim mentality is an aspect coming from um, intention and it has a lot to do with perspective. Um, victim mentality is where you feel like you don't have control over something and you want to pin it on something outside of yourself as a reason for it, okay? Now with duality, which is a team, which is um, a partnership or anything where a situation or outcome involves more than one person, okay? That's duality. Relationships, partnerships, they're all duality. We can't control anything outside of us, but we control only ourselves. Well, in that dynamic, both people are responsible to be strong enough within themselves to do what they need to to make it work out. And you cannot blame something outside of yourself, even in duality, and say, well, I can't do this, or, or you know, blame, well, this is happening because of you not doing this, or, okay? Now, in victim mentality, there's a difference also between needs and wants of what's for the highest good, of what is considered responsibly selfish and what is considered personally selfish. And the difference between needs and wants matters big time in that aspect because in duality, We have to remember that the ultimate goal is that we have to embody all of the foundation within ourself to have a foundation outside of ourself. So to build anything on a solid foundation versus building it on a foundation of sand, it relies on the importance of anybody involved in the duality, which can be more than two people or anything, but all, there has to be at least two for it to be a duality experience. Both people must be able, must be built within themselves on a solid foundation. If one is and one isn't, that duality combo, not built on solid foundation, it's not possible. You cannot hold it, it's one person on solid within and sand within on the other. One person cannot hold the whole thing permanently with the other person not acknowledging or attempting to actually build their own foundation within solidly. That's very important to remember and understand because um, that's where, mm, let's see, let's, let's bring in the, the combination of resentment and um, heartache, let's say. It's going around in a circle. Well, the resentment is driven, or the the person with resentment versus the person with heartache and the cycle going round and round. Well, the resentment, their focus and what's driving them is going to be based off of um, a conditional love aspect as opposed to an unconditional, okay? And what that being said is resentment causes anger and it's fear-based. Um, there could be guilt-driven or shame or or anything and that's where the blame game comes in okay any decisions you drive and you stand your ground on that is built on resentment is not for the highest good of all involved and what that means is you are making demands that are not responsibly selfish but personally selfish without considering the other person and what's best for them because if you're resentful for something, there's something that needs healed and it's not possible to really be able to look outside of your narrow perspective to see what's best for all involved to be able to make that decision because it's conditional. Um, that's why healing is important. Whereas if it's coming from unconditional, which is um, more of a love base, What you're standing your ground on is more of needs versus wants and understanding the difference and understanding that 
you don't, um, when you learn about picking your battles, okay? Yes, you do have to pick your battles. But what is it that's driving you in picking your battles? That's what you have to question yourself. Is it built off of resentment and anger or hate or jealousy or guilt or shame? Or is what's holding your ground something built off of um, understanding, love, um, actual needs for internal foundations, for solid foundations? Or is it built off of something superficial that's outside of you? Like demands would be demanding something of somebody or expecting something to fall into place to make you happy. But that thing that makes you happy is something outside of you that you're demanding of another person, okay? That you could fulfill within yourself first because things fall into place. And whenever you um, have something that just is in a cycle not working out, it usually could stem from something not being in place or an underlying foundation that's not good or an underlying source that needs looked at because you don't need to focus on an actual problem and focus on that problem, on a solution to that problem and expect it to be fixed without it seeing it, without it actually just being a band-aid. Because if you want the actual problem specifically to be fixed and you're expecting something outside of you to be a part of it, well, that's where, that's where you have to be able to look at the source underlining, underlining it to see what that is, not actually that specific problem. That's how in duality, you can handle things where things will just fall into place and you don't cross the line between personally selfish and responsibly selfish to where it could be a win-win situation instead of a lose-lose situation or a one person win, one person lose, which ultimately ends up in a lose-lose. So that's the difference in that. So in duality, when you're actually looking for the best of all, you don't look to problem solve based off of whatever the problem is. You don't need to look for that solution. You look for the solution to the underlying that's causing the shift, that's causing the foundation to be broken underneath and work on fixing that. And it always stems from something inside of you, not outside of you. And that's how you also can tell the difference between duality versus victim mentality.